I am Yolanda Arokiam and I am currently the coordinator for the uh, catechesis classes at Church of the Annunciation. Um, currently, um, we have just about 37 students who are enrolled, um, ranging from uh, just about the babies, around the seven-year-olds, and we have the adults as well, or the young adults more or less, uh, just about 15 of the 37 who are preparing for confirmation uh, this November. So this morning, I am also, um, just to let you know, I'm also the confirmation teacher slash coordinator. So I have dual roles here. Um, but nevertheless, um, I think what we're talking about today is really about service. And I believe that here at the church, um, there is definitely um, a, a, an area or a pool where persons are willing to serve. Um, however, I, I believe that even with that, there needs to be proper guidance. And so that is what I'm hoping to provide to these young people here um, as they mature into becoming the witnessing Catholics that we need in our, in our churches. You said you're molding the younger ones for, because they're the future. What would be your message to them, our viewers? A word of encouragement for them to be a part of youth ministry. Um, uh, ministries in the church oh oh that's a that's an excellent question I think first of all though uh, we're speaking about young people we're speaking about witnessing therefore um, there needs to be activities in the church um, I think growing up uh, very young I can remember several uh, trips to Camp Cayuca um, several trips to different churches. We would sometimes go early in the morning. Uh, we would stay for mass, and then you would usually have that entire fun day being being presented to us. So I think definitely there needs to be more activities for our young people, particularly those between the ages of 15 to 21. I believe that's an age range or a gap where we can lose them if we are not careful. And I do believe that unless they are faithful in the sense of knowing their fate, um, knowing and loving their fate, uh, they will be more prone, I believe, to the whispering of the other um, sex or the other religious groups, more or less, and they can more or less be influenced and, and, and you know, lose themselves. And so I believe activities that we have right now, first of all, I, I know yesterday, uh, nine of the young people from um, the confirmation class participated in a retreat that was held in Lou or uh, along with the Parfait Harmony community at Camp Cayuca. I, the reports I received was that it was a tremendous experience. For many of those persons, it was the first time that they ever had something of that nature. So retreats, um, I also... Um, I'm very happy to hear of what is happening uh, with the jamboree that is happening on the 4th of July. Um, this morning, my students um, already indicated, Miss, we would like to go. So we already have a busload of young people again who are willing to attend something like this. Um, again, too, on the 23rd, I believe, we're having another uh, youth activity, youth quake at St. Stanislaus. Laws. They're already um, given their names. So I do believe that one of the... Um, key things to do is to ensure that there are activities to sustain them, activities to ensure that they are fully developed, that they're happy, that they know their fate and they have that attachment to it. Um, but at the same time, I also believe that um, there also needs to be the adults, the parents also need to play a role. Um, because what I found as well is that irrespective of the willingness of the children, the parents will also take care as to if they will send them over to these activities or if they will keep them home. So there need to be a better partnership with both the parents as well. 